Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. And I'm irritated today. I'll get into it here in a second. I'm the Goose. So glad you joined me again. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we cover a lot of different topics. Yeah, we talk a lot of politics. Well, not a lot. A little politics. A lot of boxing. A uh, little religion. Uh, what those are the three things you should never talk about right uh, uh at least two things sports uh, politics and religion but we, we'll cover anything because it's interesting i'm the goose glad to have you back uh before we get going gonna have my coffee gotta have the caffeine to get me going uh at my age <laughs> my coffee very strong just like my opinion got some caffeine uh, creamer in there to make it sweet i'll spit it out not the coffee but the words i'll spit it out uh just to make it sweet just like me here we go all right, let's talk about music, shall we? Uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Doesn't that sound great? Sounds like a very austere, very serious, very uh, legendary organization, but it's not. It's not. Uh, like all of you, I love good music. Uh, you know, when I grew up uh, as a young child, and uh, I know you, you know, I've got this boyish good looks. You think I'm just a kid. Well, I am. But, uh, when I was a kid back in the 60s, I remember watching the Beatles on TV on the Ed Sullivan Show. And my, my folks played, uh, you know, they loved big band music. They loved jazz, country music, rock and roll, you name it. But they loved good music. And uh, now I admit I never learned how to play an instrument. Oh, well, but I still appreciate uh, great music. Uh, that's what brings me to the discussion today. My uh, coworker, um told me all about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It opened up in 1983. It's located in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, this coworker of mine visited the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And uh, he said it was a joke. Uh, they um, they need to spice things up a little bit. They, sp- they It's almost like a shrine to the Beatles. Okay, yeah, I love the Beatles too, but come on. You know, they're, they're human. Uh, and uh, for some reason, they uh, just... You know, lavish praise on them. They just went overboard. And, uh, you know, well, that's fine. You know, they're not perfect. But the problem I have with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, very simple. Who's in it, in many cases, and who's not? Um, most of the, the vast majority of the acts in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame belong there. Let's face it. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see. It brings back memories. You know, I grew up listening to all of those acts, and it's really a cool thing to see. But then I started to wonder, well, how come this band isn't in there? How come they're not? How come they're not? The list of acts that are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame it should make up another Hall of Fame. It's a, it's absolutely, it's it's a load of crap. Okay, oh, watch my language. It's uh, one of my uh, favorite radio guys uh, puts it this way: it's B as in B and S as in S. Okay. It's, it's ridiculous, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, let, let me give you a few examples. I've got 15 acts that are not in the Hall of Fame. One of them just was the Doobie Brothers. It took this long. Uh, Lord knows they belong there. But check out some of these names and tell me what you think. Jethro Tull. Aqualung, you know, great artist. How is Jethro Tull... Not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It gets worse than that. Uh, Dick Dale. Uh, Dick Dale was a, uh, 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 guitarist, great legendary guitarist back in the early sixties. Uh, I think he's still, he's still around, but, uh, legend. Um, and, uh, even more than that, we have the Spinners. The Spinners, not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How about Sticks from Chicago? The list of hits for the Spinners and Sticks. Is endless, uh, not just singles, but the uh, great albums. Uh, and how either one of those groups is not in the Hall of Fame, I don't know. Boston is another one. Now, Boston, uh, their fame was not, uh, was relatively short lived, I'll admit. They only had the two or three albums, but they were monsters. And, uh, two of their band members committed, one of them, one or two of them committed suicide. So, yeah, well. Boston, not included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Foreigner, uh, feels like the first time. Uh, you know, how can, how can Foreigner not be in the Hall of Fame? This just amazes me. We're talking about acts that are not 
in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and why, I have no idea. I'll give you a few more, and then we'll start talking about, you know, what, why is this the case? Why are they not included? Um, the Guess Who? Uh, 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 American Woman. Uh, Ario Speedwagon. Give me a break. Uh, Three Dog Night. Joy to the World. Come on, you know. Black and White. It's Three Dog Night. How are they not in the Hall of, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Jim Croce. Um, bad, bad Leroy Brown. Uh, Carol King. Now, this one is, uh, I don't understand this at all. Carol King, uh, really, uh, exposed her, her great name to the public with, uh, the album Tapestry in the early 70s. But before that, she was a legendary songwriter throughout the, the 1960s. Look her name up. Carol King. Great songwriter, great performer. Uh, it gets worse. Ted Nugent. Now, whether you want to, you know, whether you like his politics or not, he's a Motor City Madman, one of the greatest guitarists ever. He's nuts, but he's a legendary rock and roller. Two more examples. And, uh, you know, agree or disagree with all of these that I just mentioned. You cannot explain to me, give me any legitimate reason why these following two acts are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Barry White. Really? How about the Carpenters? You've got to be kidding. It's an absolute joke that Barry White and the Carpenters are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, you can, uh, you know, get your thesaurus out and, well, rock and roll really means this and not this. Uh, you know, it's not punk rock. It's not rap. Okay, fine. But, that, you know, great performers are great performers. Now, who is in the Hall of Fame that shouldn't be there? Now, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm going to, uh, you know, hurt your feelings, oh, gosh, I'm sorry, but uh, these acts have no business in the Hall of Fame. And the first one is U2. Bono. Jude, I'm sorry. You like U2? Oh, I'm sorry. But do they belong in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Ah, okay, you and my sister, Vicky. Okay, well, okay, okay, well, how about this? The Sex Pistols. Okay. Yeah. How about NWA? Rap group. You know what NWA stands for? Uh, yeah, 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 not good. Get the kids out of the room. Uh, the Dave Clark Five. Okay, they were a, a cute band in the 60s, uh, 70s. Yeah, a lot of good hits. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Come on. Why are they there? The Stooges. Not the Three Stooges, although the Three Stooges were, I could accept that. I knew who they were. I have no idea who the Stooges are. No idea. But they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They grease somebody's palms. Um, the Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. Not the Beach Boys. The Beastie Boys. Or is that the group that said, uh, I, I gotta, you wanna fight for your right to party or something? That's, that's what we call art. The Beastie Boys. They're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, they're, the, they're, the, they're the first white rappers. Yeah, okay, okay. What about Vanilla Ice? He's still touring, you know that? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what some people do to make money. Now, this next performer, I, I, I have a lot of respect for. But as a solo act, why is he in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Ringo Starr? Now, John Lennon, uh, Paul McCartney, even uh, um, uh, George Harrison. I can, I can accept that. And the Beatles for a group. Uh, okay, yeah, they're the Beatles. Why is Ringo Starr in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? He had a, like two or three number one hits after they broke up. But they were all written and perform and uh, produced, I think, by uh, Paul McCartney. So, yeah, come on, Ringo Starr. As much as I love the guy, he shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo artist. And uh, now here, this is the worst. Okay, we're talking about why some legendary acts, and I just gave you a long list, are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and while these bozos are, Madonna. That's right. Madonna is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Of uh, yeah, I was just uh, a, a friend of mine who happens to be a psychiatrist. <laughs> We're in the car the other day. Madonna's song came on, and I said, yeah, I kind of like Madonna's uh, first few songs. It was kind of cute. And he says, no, it wasn't. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay. But then it just got psycho. Madonna is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. So why... Why do we see this this nonsense? Why are all these bozos in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and all this this long list of legends aren't? 
uh, I don't know, is it politics? Is it the record label? Is it, uh, who knows what it is? I, I, I honestly cannot figure this out. If you ever visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, feel free, although I've heard it's not a great place to visit, ask. Why are these guys not there? And why are, why are these people in there? Ah, you got me. Oh, well. It's like politics. Why are some people in office and why some people are not? It makes no sense to me. But um, that's my take on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, it makes no sense in many cases. Now, again, uh, when I started, I said uh, the vast majority of those groups who are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame belong there. Legendary. I uh, grew up watching, listening to these acts, and it's it's a real, real cool thing to see. And uh, you know, going down memory lane and uh, sharing uh, great memories, uh, uh, it's a good thing. But uh, they're missing a lot. They they need to clean house. Uh, and again, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They've been around since 1983, and they're located in Cleveland. So that's my take. I'm sticking to it. And that's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. So glad you joined me. Uh, got many more shows to come. And again, we uh, we cover a lot of different topics. And yes, I read uh, all the comments. So uh, let me know what you think. And I'd like to hear what you have to think about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm sure you have a strong opinion just like I do. Uh, many thanks to you folks for watching. And you uh, people who subscribe, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's a long list and we're very, uh, we're very thankful. Uh, and we have more shows to come. Stick with me, okay? Take care.